Hello and welcome back to another episode of What Up Cuz TV. My name is Samson and as always I'm Mr. Mighty J alongside with me. And today we're going to tell you about a little extra money making in Kingdom Come Deliverance. So what you want to do is progress to the storyline where you get your horse. That's about four, I would say what, four quests in, Julian? Uh, about four main quests in. You, it, it'll happen right after, let's say about two quests after you meet Captain Bernard and Rate. So yeah, once you do that, you get your horse, and you're going to want to fast travel up to Scalitz. And here is where they killed your parents, and you had to flee from the castle and all that. So every time you come back, there is always some different faction fighting with one another. And the faction is always hostile. So you, you want to make 100% sure that you don't go up to them. You want to make sure that one faction kills the other, and you're gonna want, and then you're gonna see them walk away. You're gonna, you're gonna see them walk away up this road right here, the one that I'm looking at right now. You see this road, the one I'm seeing? They're gonna walk up this road, and when they get about halfway in, you could go in and loot these guys. And depending on the people that die in there, you could get pieces of loot that are worth up to 4K um, money Plus. in here. Yeah, 4K. Yeah. So, this is what me and Mighty have been doing to make our money. And we're, we just got our horse from the quest. So, we've spent maybe two hours questing. And if you look at my inventory, I'm already at 7.7k. And before this, I was up to over 10k, but I leveled up my, my uh, alchemy and all that. So, I was buying a bunch of books, reading, all that stuff. But I was over 10k. And I've only came up here about four times to do this. The only thing that's going to hold you back is not getting all this right here. It's the actual money that the vendors that you're selling to in Rate are going to give you. And right now, Rate, if you have enough rep, that's the most money you're going to make. So we're going to sit here and just wait. You want to make sure you don't get seen by these guys because if they do see you, and at this early stage of the game, if they see you, they will kill you. There's no chance of fighting them. They'll slow you down. They'll two, three sh shot you. So I usually hide right behind this bush. And it could take anywhere from 30 seconds to maybe five minutes for them to walk out of this gate right here. But as soon as that battle is done, they'll start walking up this road. And you go in there and you, and you collect the resources. Now, for those of you watching on my perspective, since I'm here at night, I'll know the battle is done. And these guys finish fighting and they light their torches up again. Which it'll make it a little bit easier for them to see them at night. And it's fine. It makes them a little it makes it a little harder for them to see you if you were going in stealth in the tall grass and you just stay off the side. Now there is a very rare and off chance that there may be soldiers from Tamba in here, and if there are, they're friendly guards. But you do not want to get engaged in the fight with these guys at all. At all. They will die. murder you at this early of the stage. This early stage in the game. They now, will say destroy this. destroy you. Samson and I tested this out before we had the horse. And because we're gluttons for abuse, we walked over or encumbered from Scalitz all the way to Rate. And let me tell you, folks, it takes two hours. At least. But two, to be two honest, and a half hours, be, and you, I would not suggest it. Be, to be honest, before you start making fun of us, saying how stupid we are, we did not know you got your horse so early in the storyline. We did not know. And then once we got our horse, we were like, easy money. Now, if you're wondering how we came about this, there's actually a quest that if you talk to, and I can't remember the guy's name, but earlier on in the prologue, you end up fighting Croshin it, or something man. like that? Croshin, yeah. yeah Croshin, yep. For money that he owes your father. Well, when you go to Rattai, you can pick up a quest from him that will send you back out here. And that's how we came upon the guards and whoever bandits that were fighting here. And like Sam said, you're going to run into all kinds of different factions. Um, so they're initially, starting to when leave we now. found that out, we ran in and we tried to help and we got two shot. Well, later on, as we got a little bit more armor, we tried it again, and you still get destroyed. 
So there's the guys right there. There's one, two, three. Sometimes there's three, sometimes it's four, like depending on the faction. You get you get the um what's the original faction that was killing? The the Comans? What are they called? Cumans. Cumans, yeah, the Cumans. They'll destroy you. Um bandits, they're really high too. So it depends on the faction. Sometimes you go in here, there's three bodies with two traders. So you have five bodies to loot. Usually the two traders, they really don't have too much for you. But it's the soldiers that you're going to want to loot. Those those are the, the guys that you want to loot. That's the big money. And the big thing is, yeah, I'm, I'm creeping up a little bit. But this is a little dangerous. Because I don't know where they're at on that road. See, they're far enough to where I can sneak in here now. And I can show you what we can get. So now you walk into, into this base or this town. And you see the bodies. There's one, two, three. Usually... There's them and then two traders around this area. But these are the guys that you're going to want to loot. So we go in here. And this is for money purposes. See, this this is a light haul. But sometimes you get up to 1.4k, 4k loot here. This is 879, 491. Just off of this guy. 1.9k, see? Right here, 1.9k, 1k, 1k, 850. This guy right here, six. So that one guy is a big money maker here. And what you're gonna want to do is you just want to loot everything you can, throw everything on your horse. So the big money items I'm gonna want to take. Take those for now. Take the groschen. Bandages are always good. Waiting for my guys to leave. You can literally take everything you want. If you have enough space and you can ride off, do it. So now these guys here are actually looking at them. I think those actually may be town boss soldiers. I'm not 100% sure and I'm not going to go find out. But thankfully, we're starting to hit dusk, I believe. Or dawn. Let's take a look at this guy. Okay, cool. This is a bandit. Look at that. Dark Milanese Brigandine, 1.7k. And it's only at 28 durability. That does play a factor as well. So if it's really high damaged, I mean, you won't get the full price. You won't get the full price anyways. This is how the traders work in this game. But if you do this two, three times like I did, I, I did this two times. I was over 10k. Don't have to worry about any money in the in the beginning game. And this takes you maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes to do two runs all together. Yeah. So I highly recommend this. Wow. Okay, so on mine I got really lucky. There's a guy I had a sword on here called Stinger. It's a named blade. Stab damage on it is 79 with slash damage of 47. It has a worth of 1.1k and that's another thing when you come out here there are things that you're going to gather that you just may not be high enough level to get yet or to, or to be able to wear yeah. everything until you get your strength up or agility depending on the weapon or agility on the weapon but it is for sure worth coming out here for sure. Oh shit. What happened? I just heard somebody say who's there. Oh no. All right, real quick in this situation. Now, the great thing the is you do not have at? to stand right beside your horse to add inventory to the horse. So in this situation, in case I fight, since it's only one guy, we're going to go ahead, go to my inventory. The way you make real money, though, is you want the soldiers wearing all black. You want those yeah. guys to die. 
all plate black armor. Those guys you definitely want to lose. That's the real money maker on those. Okay. I don't see these guys as weapons anywhere. Now I'm back in kick ass mode. Let me just see if I can't find this guy, the straggler. Okay. It won't tell me who he is. So this guy here stayed behind. I don't know why, but just to be safe, I'm going to save the game here in case this turns south and I just get the shit kicked out of me. There, I see a guy that's chilling too. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to save as well. See if so I'm going to walk up on this guy as if we're friends and buddies. He may be a Tomberg soldier, actually. And yes, he is. He is a guard. So here we're going to we're going to test something real quick, a theory. That I don't think it's going to have any play. I'm going to actually silent. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to do a silent kill on this guy. Cuz I'm being a little greedy for the video. I'm going I'm sneaking him up on him right now. I'm going to see if I can do it. Rip. It's raining, maybe he can't hear me. Here's the guy. It stopped raining for me. Oh, he disappeared. Walk up to him. My guy disappeared out of the blue. Stealth killed my guy. Sweet. My guy literally disappeared in front of me. So, the, okay, so crazy. I was right. The, the group of guys that came out were Tomberg soldiers. So I got lucky. I could have walked in here while they were fighting and been okay. Wow, mine now, disappeared. <clears throat> now, just so you know, now that I silent killed this guy, though, everything that I grab off of him, since I have to hold E to loot him, will come up as stolen. But as you make the trip down south back to Rate, um, you're going to see that that'll go away by the time you get back to your house. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make quick gold in Kingdom Come Deliverance or Groshin. So we're going to call the video there. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. really helps the channel out. This is What Up Cuz TV. You can catch us on Mixer most nights, Monday through Sunday. You can catch us at WUCTV, Mr. Mighty J, or WUCTV. Samps on Mixer.com, and we'll catch you around in the next one. Peace.